So we look at this one, and I'll just give you guys a basic one to go through. But remember, what we need to do is determine is this geometric or not. All right, remember geometric, if we have our first four terms, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, um, we could do a sub 5. Remember, it's geometric if the ratio of a sub 2 over a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 over a sub 2, which is equal to a sub 4 over a sub 3, which is equal to a sub 5 over a sub 4, dot, 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 dot. And that all equals a ratio. So as long as you have a constant ratio between your consecutive terms, we have a geometric sequence. Now, you guys could probably see just by um, looking at this that we are going to have a geometric sequence. But let's just double check to make sure. So if I did a sub 2 over a sub 1, I'd have 4 over 2 which then has to be equal to 8 over 4, which then has to equal to 16 over 8, which then has to equal 32 over 16. Yep. All right, which is pretty obvious. You can see that my, now my ratio r is going to equal 2. Because each one of these ratios is equal to 2. So now, therefore, since I have a ratio, I know that this sequence is geometric. We'll go, on, we'll, go on, we'll go and look at an example, OK? So 